Wait for this one. Scientists at NASA have discovered that the Andromeda galaxy is hurtling towards us at a quarter of a million miles per hour. A cataclysmic collision awaits. But don't worry, it won't happen for four billion years. And even Greece should have sorted out its financial problems by then. Here's our science editor, Tom Clark. When worlds collide... Inevitably, Hollywood got here first. In When Worlds Collide, there was no hope for anyone remaining behind as a star headed right for Earth. But the 1951 science fiction classic was based on an emerging science fact. Our neighbouring galaxy Andromeda is heading our way. But whether we were on a collision course had been pure speculation until now. We find that to within the precision of our measurements, the Andromeda galaxy is heading straight in our direction. Oh dear. Um, and, and but keep I listening. We cannot rule out that some star in Andromeda may hit our sun, or that some planet in Andromeda, if there exists some, which may well be the case, may hit a planet in our own solar system. But these are very, very small objects, and there's a lot of space between them. Phew. And even though the Andromeda galaxy is speeding towards our Milky Way at a quarter of a million miles per hour, these latest calculations mean it will take around four billion years to actually hit us. And given the masses involved, we'll be locked in a galactic waltz for another two billion years before finally merging into a new galaxy. Make no mistake, there is some serious science behind these latest findings. The researchers spent seven years using the Hubble Space Telescope to make the most precise measurements ever of individual stars in the Andromeda galaxy. And as it bears down on us, it will make the firmament look less permanent. It'll get bigger on the sky and it gets close enough to distort our Milky Way. As the galaxies pass each other, bright new regions of star formation will light up the sky as gas gets compressed and forms new stars and all that's left will be a bright elliptical galaxy filling much of our night sky, having replaced today's familiar view of the Milky Way. But will there be anyone around to care? Life on Earth took just under four billion years to get to where it is today. What, if anything, will be here that far into the future? And besides, by then we'll have problems much closer to home. Our star, the Sun, will be running out of fuel, getting bigger and brighter in its final death throes. So whoever is living on the planet in four billion years' time might do well to find a new home. A bit like in the movies. Tom Clark. Tonight's main news, the UN Human Rights Council has condemned Syria for last weekend's massacre in Hula, in which more than 100 people died. It called for an investigation, saying they could amount to crimes against humanity.